Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Emma. Hi, Katya. Hi, good night, girls. Good night, Aime. Thank you very much for being on time. Happy Thank you, teacher. Too. Thank you very much for being on time, girls. Gloria just joined, excellent. We are five people right now. We are just going to wait for a few more minutes so that the rest of the group can join or as many of them can join para poder hacer el día de hoy el review del final exam. All right, guys. So we are five people right now. We have Brenda, we have Katia, we have Aime, we have Emma and Gloria. Excellent. Let's wait for just one more minute to see if more people are able to join. All right, guys. And remember, guys, that we have all of our classes in our YouTube playlist, which is this one. Se las voy a poner en el chat aquí. In case you don't have it and want to review the classes, la tenemos aquí en nuestra playlist. All right, and we are seven people now. Hugo just joined, Fabricio just joined, excellent. Gloria, Brenda, I met Katia, Emma. Amazing. All right, guys. So it is nine with zero, five minutes, zero, six minutes. And we are going to be reviewing the final exam today, guys. And tomorrow, nos vamos a dedicar, hoy nos vamos a dedicar a review the final exam and also to review any um, questions that you may have about any knowledge checks or anything that you might need to review. And tomorrow we are going to be doing another um, few exercises about reading. Good night, teacher. Hi, Carla, good night. And some further uh, practice para que haya uh, más uh, fluidez a la hora de hablar. All right. So we have 
here Katya and Jennifer just joined. So we are 10 people officially right now, 9.06 p.m. So, and Ruth just joined, excellent. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and start reviewing the final exam, guys. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Solo déjenme cargar esto off the screen, porque si no, no me carga, but that's okay. One moment. Y mientras tanto, let's see, guys. ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, teacher. Yes. Awesome. All right. So, as you can see, the final exam consists of six parts. El examen consiste de seis partes. Listen to the conversation. This is a listening. Put the words in the correct order. Vamos a poner las oraciones en el orden correcto. Circle the correct word. Tenemos que escoger la palabra correcta. Completing the sentences. Completing the requests. Recordemos que vimos requests and statements. Y una lectura de un article. Y responder las preguntas de ese article. Now, we're going to review each section, and if you guys have any questions, me las pueden ir diciendo a medida veamos cada section. Now, yo sé que uh, varias personas hoy ya estuvieron trabajando en el final exam, which is great, which is amazing. Recordemos que debemos tener la platform completamente finalizada para mañana, by midnight, para que puedan estar successfully inscritos para su siguiente módulo que comenzaría la próxima semana. Eh, también vimos que tuvimos un mensaje de parte de la coordinadora diciendo que si ustedes están inscritos por medio de su empleador, then that's completely fine. Solo necesitan confirmar con ellos y con su departamento de recursos humanos o con quien ustedes entiendan de esta prestación. And then, si están inscritos de manera individual, in that case, you can text... Um, Support, el soporte técnico de, de inglés corporativo para que se les apoye en su um, proceso. Hoy oh, sí, all right. So, así que si han adelantado con el final exam, that's great. Vamos a poder ayudarnos todos para resolverlo el día de hoy. No lo voy a estar poniendo todas las respuestas, pero sí vamos a trabajarlo de manera verbal para que podamos avanzar y podamos tener todo súper, súper claro. All right. So let's start with section A. And in section A, we have a listening. Y de este listening, we have one, two, three, four questions. Y aquí sale Rita. All right. And let's see. We have two questions about Rita. Or Rita. And we have two questions about Wes. About Wes's invitation and Wes's excuse. So let's go ahead and listen to this audio, guys. Tengo un momento para compartirles el audio. There we go. Excellent. And let's go ahead and listen. Listen to two telephone conversations. Check the correct information. One. Hello? Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great! Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at 6. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. I was on mute. All right, guys. So that was conversation number one. And this was a conversation between Wes and Laura, right? So what was Wes's invitation? I can invite that on a Wes. Beach party. Beach party. Beach party. Beach party. 
to a beach party. That's correct. Wes was invited to a beach party. Excellent. And what was Wes's excuse? Or cuál era la razón que él no podía ir? Que no podía ir. That's correct. I love that we're all participating. That's great. Hey, that's amazing. Esos son los ánimos de que tomorrow we finish the module. Excellent. All right. Let's see. So, yes, the reason uh, or his excuse is that he starts work at six. The party started at six. La fiesta comenzaba a las seis. But he starts work at six. El comienza a trabajar a las seis. So he wouldn't be able to go. Yes. All right. So now let's go ahead and listen to the next conversation para poder solve the questions about Rita. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Now that we listened to that conversation, what was Rita's invitation? He was invited to a dance performance. A dance performance? A performance. performance. That's correct, guys. And what was Rita's excuse? ¿Cuál era su excuse o por qué no podía ir? She needs to study for a test. That's correct. Thank you very much, guys. She needed to study for a test. Al final la convenció su amigo. A ver cómo salió. But uh, she needed to study for a test. Excellent, guys. And that is the first section of the final exam, guys. You can listen to these conversations as many times as you need. Si ha quedado alguna duda. I do want to know, guys, hay alguna parte que no se comprenda de este exercise or is everything clear? Everything clear. Everything is clear. Excellent. Everything is clear. Excellent, guys. In that case, let's go ahead and move on to section B. Now, section B says, put the words in the correct order to make sentences. Tenemos que complete the conversations using the correct form of the verbs. Y esto es lo que decíamos, guys. No podíamos solo completar con las palabras que estaban en paréntesis, right? Sino que tenemos que conjugar. Y tenemos que... Um, make it work. Cuando yo les hice la expresión de make it make sense, es algo que se suele decir en inglés de uh, hay que hacer lo que tenga sentido, right? Make it make sense. Cuando nosotros decimos algo, eh, y si rela una, un consejo que les puedo dar es repitámoslo y digamos, y esto se entiende, o sea, esto que estoy diciendo, does it make sense? Y si no, veamos de qué otra manera lo podemos decir. So, for this example, we have, what do you, y nos dan los dos verbos, plan, do. And for us to make this sentence work, ¿cómo podríamos decirlo? Nos están preguntando, ¿qué planeamos decir en la noche? ¿Qué, qué planeamos hacer en la noche? So, how could we say that? ¿Cómo podríamos decirlo? Uh, what do you do playing tonight? What do you do plan tonight? ¿Qué podríamos decir, guys? Is that correct or not? What do you do plan to do tonight? What do you plan to do tonight? That's correct. So we would say, what do you 
plan to do? What do you plan to do tonight? ¿Qué planeas hacer esta noche? Recordemos, ¿no? Para, a la hora de conjugar no, no tenemos solo que limitarnos a las palabras que nos están dando, sino que we already know, right? Entonces sabemos que para conjugar algo a veces tenemos que agregar otra palabra. For example, to do. What do you plan to do? ¿Qué planeas hacer? To do. What do you plan to do tonight? All right. Now, for the next one. I, and this is the answer. Esta es la respuesta a esta pregunta. What do you plan to do tonight? I want to stay home. There's a soccer match on TV. ¿Cómo podríamos decirlo? I want to stay I want home. To stay home. There's a soccer There's match a soccer on TV. Match on TV. That's correct. I want to stay home. Me quiero quedar en casa. I want to stay. Me quiero quedar. I want to stay home. ¿Por qué me quiero quedar en casa? Because there's a soccer match on TV. Se quiere quedar en la casa para ver el partido. Match. Soccer match. Partido de fútbol en la tele. Excellent. All right. Very good. Now. What are you and Dave do tomorrow? Nos están preguntando de algo que va a suceder tomorrow. And that's going to happen in the future, right? And we have the verb go. So, ¿cómo lo diríamos? What are you, what are you, go, what are you and Dave going to do, going to do tomorrow? That's absolutely correct, guys. Excellent. What are you and Dave going to do? ¿Por qué going? Porque estamos hablando de tomorrow. Something that's going to happen in the future. Y cuando hablamos del future, decíamos que ocupábamos two things. Going. And. And ING, guys. For continuous or future. And ING. Going to be doing, for example. So, but in this one, what are you and Dave going to do? Excellent. And la, la respuesta, we mm -mm, have a barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. How could we say that? We would like to have a barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. That's correct. We would like to have. We would like to have porque no estamos seguros. We would like to have. A barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. Nos gustaría, right? But we're talking about the future, so nos gustaría, but it may rain. It may rain. We would like to have a barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. And for number three, what do you hope to do? Graduation. That's correct. What do you hope to do what after graduation? Do? And I in Europe for a while. Love would to travel. travel. That's correct. I would love to travel in Europe for a while. Excellent, guys. Now, do we have any questions about uh, this sentences? About would like, no gustaría. About want to stay, to stay, to do. To go? Do we have any questions? Teacher, el wall es como podría hacerlo, tal vez lo haga. That's correct. Es una posibilidad. Expresamos posibilidad. Nos gustaría, would like, a barbecue on the beach. Y significa que la, hay algo que la, nos está deteniendo. 
en la última he tenido problemas. Es como, would like, would love travel. Would love to travel. Okay. That's great. Thank Porque you. están preguntando, what do you hope to do? ¿Qué esperas hacer? No es seguro, aunque lo haga. Pero a ella le gustaría viajar a Europa por un tiempo. She, I would love to travel. All right, excellent. Any other questions, guys? Would love to travel. What would love to travel? Very good. All right. In that case, let's go ahead and switch over to section C. Now in section C, we have to pick the correct word. Tenemos que escoger la respuesta correcta. And we have two different sections with three questions. One, two, three, and one, two, three. In the first section, in the first section, we uh, have to pick the correct word for these three exercises. There are a lot of beautiful trees in this. And we have to make it make sense. Debemos hacer que tenga sentido, right? Si hay muchos árboles, then that's a sea, a forest, or a waterfall, guys. Forest. Forest. Excellent. And what is a waterfall? What's a waterfall, guys? ¿Qué es waterfall? Catarata. Catarata o cascada. That's correct. Cascada. Excellent. Now, number two. A is a very hot and dry place. Is it a desert, a river, the hill? Y aquí quiero hacer una aclaración, guys. Y este es un errorcito que hay en la plataforma. That's okay, pero... Ustedes deben de saberlo, solo porque esté así, ustedes deben de saber eso. Desert, right? Aquí han puesto con doble S. Recordemos no ponerlo con doble S porque doble S es dessert y eso es postre. So let's remember, desert. All right, so if it is a very hot and dry place, is desert, river, yes. or hill? Desert. 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 That's correct. That's the desert, right? And number three. A is always higher than a valley. Is it a lake, a mountain, or a river? Mountain. 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 That's correct. A mountain is always higher than a valley. And now we have to do the same thing. Tenemos que hacer lo mismo for this next sentences. But with verbs. En lugar de escoger la palabra, we're going to choose the correct form of the verb. So, please, Mary, there's a school party on Sunday. Please tell or to tell. 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 Excellent. That's correct. Please tell Mary there's a school party on Sunday. Uh, this is a request. Es una solicitud. Please tell Mary there's a school party on Sunday. All right. Now, what do you ask Bill? The concert, the concert tickets tonight? Bring or to bring? bring. To, bring. to bring. To bring. To bring. That's correct. What do you ask Bill? I'm sorry, let's see her request aquí. Esto es un statement. I'm sorry, statement. This is a request. What do you ask Bill to bring the concert tickets tonight? Podrías pedirle que traiga to bring. 
the concert tickets tonight. Excellent. And the last one, could you, Dana, that the movie starts at 8.15, tell, ask. 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 Why ask? Ask. ask. Question. Pregunta. Why ask? Ask. Why Pedir. ask? Pero qué le estoy pidiendo? Dana, date una. Le podría preguntar a Dana. Eso. ¿Qué le estoy preguntando? Que si la, la, la película empieza a las 8 y 15. No, porque no le estoy no le estoy preguntando si pregun le estoy si estoy diciendo es, es seguro que comienza a las 8 y 15. It's still, it's still. That's correct. Could you tell Dana that the movie starts at 8:15? No le estamos preguntando a qué hora es la película. La película ya sabemos que es a las 8:15. Could you tell Dana that the movie starts at 8:15? ¿Podrías decirle que la película comienza a las 8.15? Si no, tendríamos que preguntarle, could you ask Dana, at what time does the movie start? ¿A qué hora comienza la película? O, could you ask Dana if the movie starts at 8.15? Si la película comienza a las 8.15. Pero estamos diciendo that the movie starts at 8.15. Ya sabemos que la película comienza. 8.15. So could you, could you tell Dana that it starts at 8.15? Teacher, una pregunta. En la plataforma sale correcto ask. Ask. Yeah, I know. Yo sé que sale correcto ask. That is, um, solo, le, por eso les quiero hacer esa aclaracióncita. I know que sale correcto ask. Pero sí tendríamos que decir tell. Por eso es que, eh, tengo la confusión de que es, yo pensaba pues era pregunta porque o sea es ask es lo que la plataforma tira como correcto yeah y vamos a ver eso aquí right here do you guys remember oh, I'm sorry que vimos que aunque fuera un statement podemos hacer una pregunta could you tell her that the class por ejemplo si yo les digo Could you tell your classmate that the class is at, it's going to be at nine? It's going to be at eight? Porque yo ya sé las respuestas. So I do know that, guys. Solo les quería hacer esa aclaración. Would you okay. Here. Statement. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Solo para que sepamos que podemos hacer statements en forma de pregunta. Okay. Well, okay. Excellent. Thank you. Of course. All right. Now, for section D, we have to complete the conversation with would, will, I'd, which is I would, or I'll, I will. So, what you like to eat? That's correct. What would you like to eat? Well, yeah, what would you like to eat? The fried chicken, please. What would you like to eat? ¿Qué te gustaría comer? Now, number two. What kind of potatoes do you like? I... I like. I will. I will. I will have. That's correct. I'll. Excellent. I'll have the mashed potatoes. Ya decidimos que eso es lo que vamos a comer. So I'll have the mashed potatoes. Now, number three. Anything to drink? Yes, please. I. I will. 
That's correct. I, I would like some water. Si nos fijamos, cuando usamos I will o I'll have the mashed potatoes. Ya estamos seguros. Eso es lo que vamos a pedir. Y cuando usamos una solicitud o algo que a mí me gustaría, I'd, I'd like, I'd, I'd like some water. I would like some water. Me gustaría. Y esto voy a pedir. Now, number four. Anything else? No. That. That would be all. Excellent. Y esto en un real life setting, en una propuesta de la vida real, podemos usar ambos. No, that will be all. Or no, that would be all. ¿Cómo sería la número cuatro? Esa la tengo mala. ¿Cómo sería? We can both say, no, that would be all. Oh. Well, that will be all. Porque no vamos a decir that I'll be all, ni that I'd be all, porque no estoy hablando de mí, estoy hablando de que that. That is el sujeto. So that would be all, that will be all. Excellent. And now we have a second part of this, which is that we have to complete each sentence with the correct form of the verb. Con la forma correcta, with, with the correct form of the adjective, I'm sorry. Con la forma correcta del adjetivo. So which city is? More crowded. That's correct. Which more city crowded. is more crowded? No vamos a decir crowded -er. Right? Also, that doesn't exist. No vamos a decir crowder. Esto no. Which city is more crowded? Como les dije, esto sí es de mucha memoria. But you will get through it. Now, is Disney World amusement park in the world? The adjective is famous. Nos está diciendo que si es en el mundo, entonces sería... The most. The most famous. The most famous. Famous. That's correct. The most famous. Famous. The pronunciation for this word is famous. Excellent. The most. That's correct. The mo oh, I see. I'm sorry. The most famous. Is Disney World the most famous amusement park in the world? Amusement park, parque de diversiones o de atracciones. Now, what is river in the world? The Amazon, Dunabi, or Nile? Si estamos hablando más de dos cosas, we have to use superlatives, right? So, what would be the superlative for long? The long, longest. Longest. Longer. Longer. The longest. That's correct. What is the longest river in the world? The Amazon, Dunabi, or Nile? And it is the Amazon, right? <laughs> All right. Mm -mm -mm. Let's check. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. All right. For section number E, we have to look at each message. This is the message. And we have to complete the request using the name in parentheses. Tenemos que completarlo usando el nombre en el parentheses. Can, Alex, Marcus, and Paula. Este era por el que me estaban preguntando en el chat eh, during the afternoon, durante la tarde, que fue que llegamos a la conclusión que era por el puntito, right? Que no lo sabe. Now, we have to complete their requests using the name. So, for example, the, the, the test is on, the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. So please tell, ¿a quién le tenemos que decir? 
Tell me. Tell you. Please tell me. Why tell you? Can. 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 That's correct. Please tell Ken. Tenemos que usar the name in the parenthesis. So please tell Ken. Y luego qué? That. Uh -huh. That the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Excellent. Thank you very much. Please tell Ken that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Todo esto. Please tell Ken, please tell Ken that the test on th Thursday is at 1 p.m. Esa es la manera en la que hacemos las requests. Please tell la persona a la que estemos haciendo la request that and the statement. Y el statement que ya nos dieron. The test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. All right. So for this next one, this statement Teacher, is, yes? Uh, fíjense que yo lo había escrito así. Yo creo que allí donde dice, please tell Ken that. Ahí lleva mayúscula, entonces por eso me he tirado el error. Uh -huh. Y esto no se pone, lo de Pixel, right? Porque ya está puesto aquí. No, ah, exacto, también, no, pero después del Ken, that's the uh -huh. lleva mayúscula. Eso por obligación tiene que ir a mayúscula. Sí, hay cosas que son, por, que son por puntuación, que eso es en lo que estamos trabajando para que no les dé tantos errores. Um, y no haya tantas confusiones para que pueda ser un poquito más flexible, para que pueda ir pues en minúscula y no de esos problemas. Y a veces sí hay que probar con las mayúsculas o con puntos, como lo que pasaba con este que nos mencionaba Aime, era por el puntito, por no poner puntito salía mal. So we are working on that, para que no les den esos errores, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you. Sí, a veces son cosas de puntuación, guys. Now. Uh, let's do the next one. Meet, meet me after class today. Este es el request. Meet me after, after class today. Would you ask? ¿A quién nos está pidiendo que usemos? Alex. Uh -huh. Would you ask Alex? To... To meet me after class today, right? Would you ask Alex to meet me after class today? Excellent. And let's do the third one. There's a volleyball game tonight. Este es el request. Or the statement. Now, could you tell Kim? Marcus. Marcus, okay. Could you tell Marcus what? Marcus, what do I have that's... to tell? Him? Yeah, that's correct. Could you tell Marcus that there's a volleyball game tonight, right? Could you tell, nos está diciendo que ocupemos the name in the parenthesis, Marcus, that there's a volleyball game tonight. Excellent. Tenemos alguna pregunta with this exercises, guys? Eh, teacher, en las, en esta, las tres, perdón, pero ver, uh, number two, Yeah. Eh, question mark. Yes, porque nos están diciendo, would you ask? Would you ask? And, no, and, and number three, 
Number two. Number two and number three, the question mark and final. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Porque estamos pidiendo, could you tell? Could you? Podrías? Would you? Lo harías? Excellent. Any other questions, guys? All right, so let's go ahead and move on to section F. And section F, we have to do a reading. So we are going to go ahead and do this reading. Let's go ahead and see it in the big picture. Zoom it up a little bit. And let's see, we are 18 people. So, this reading, I'm sorry? Acá a mí todas me da problemas en la en la en el anterior. Eh, with the no, reading. No, 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 no me las lee ninguna. ¿En esta? Eh, uh, en esto es eso. Okay, understand. Esto puede que sea por punctuation, puede que sea por puntuación. Ninguna. Pero lo sé. Estoy en la uh -huh. compu, estoy en el teléfono, ya lo revisé, pero no, no me da. Y okay. then, teacher. O sea, no me da ni una, me da. Uh -huh. No sé por qué. It's most likely, puede que pueda ser solo por un puntito o por algo así. For example, para estas, la plataforma Vaya. nos da dos posibles que, respuestas. Can that do the best on the Thursday is at? 1 p.m. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? But, Perdón, ¿cómo ha puesto? And that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Pongan, póngame en el chat, please, aquí de Zoom, ¿cómo lo ha puesto? Voy a tomar una captura. Thank you. Tendríamos que ponerlo así, guys. Por eso yo quería preguntarle si el can o oh, hay que poner toda la frase please to can. No, no solo sé. can, desde can. Please tell can that mm -hmm. the test on Thursday is at 1. Oh, she only lost them up. Oh, my God. No puntos. La suya es también americana, ¿verdad? Su máquina. Mm -hmm. Pero aquí está. Sí. There we go. At 1 p.m. Y lo tendríamos que poder dejar así. Ahí, ahí, la, ahí se le envía la... Ahorita veo. Ah, en WhatsApp. Yeah. Can that the mid hotel? Can that do the test? On Thursday? Is at 1 p.m.? Is at. Ha dejado un espacio entre, el, el, entre la P punto y la M y un espacio. ¿Qué ha dejado? That's correct. Ha dejado un espacio. Pero, entre la P y la, el P punto espacio M y no podemos dejar ningún espacio. Esas son las cositas en las que estamos trabajando para que no les den error ese tipo de cosas. That shouldn't, right? Porque al final está correcta. Eso puede ser. Este espacio aquí, en, en lugar de estar así, está así. ¿Se pudo? Perfecto. Sí, se pudo. 
Excellent. Ah, pues eso debe de ser with the rest of those. Uh, okay. For example, with the next one, Alex to meet me after class today. Y el punto al final. Are we doing that? Yeah. Y con el question mark al final. Mm. Como nos está diciendo, would you ask? So sería Alex to meet me after class today. Porque como nos está diciendo, would you ask? So Alex to meet me after class today. Yes. So so. So so. Oh yes. Is that Steven or Nolan? So. What do you mean, so so? I like to meet me after class. Last mm. day. No. Teacher. Yeah. ¿Qué significa so so? Más o menos. Ah, okay. Pero casi no se usa. That's really uh, not used so much. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, that's today. Today point. No, today question mark. Porque nos está diciendo ask. Would you ask Alex to meet me after class today? Question mark. Uh, just a question. Oh. Yeah. So next question. You are asking. Sorry. Um, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I see a Marcus. There is a boilable game tonight, no? Could you tell Marcus there's a volleyball game tonight? Or could you tell Marcus that there's a volleyball game tonight? Yeah. With the question mark. Con el signo. Porque could you... Uh, no, I'm sorry. Without... Uh, con el signo. Porque could you... Podría. Could you tell? Mm -hmm. Sí. Comienza con would you. O con could you, vamos a usar question mark porque it's a question. Yo he sacado todas las tuve mal. De hecho, todas. O sea, ya pasé, pero me, me gusta aclarar. O sea, ya, lo, ya logré lo que tenía que lograr, pero igual. Me, yeah, me no, remember that. Uh, remember vaya, that. Uh, vaya, yeah. Pues sí, Marcus, there is a volleyball. There is or there's? There's. Mm -hmm. Game tonight. A volleyball pero, game tonight? Con el signo yeah, de interrogación. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Y la última sí la que casi la di como tres vueltas. Paula. To ask. come. E e ese to come, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Esa to come hacía sí, falta porque to come to the picnic. Mm -hmm. On Saturday. Eso se consigue en interrogación, por lo que ya aplicas. No. 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 ¿Por qué no? Solo, ¿qué fue lo que dije, guys? ¿Cuándo iba a llevar signo de interrogación? Heavy question. 
question? Cuando comience con would when, o con cuando would comience con could. could. Si comienza con sorry. Would, comienza con could, then you use question mark. I'm sorry, teacher. Okay. okay. Thank you. Of course. All right. Excellent. All right, guys. Ninety two. Okay. Excellent, guys. And we're going to go ahead and do the reading now. And for the reading, we have four questions, just four questions that we have different options for. We have four options for each question. All right. So let's go ahead and do the reading. Vamos a leer, let's see. Can I have some more read? Hasta mm -mm -mm -mm. aquí. Uh, can I please have Hello. Oscar read? Hey, teacher. Hi, Oscar. Let's go. Okay. Well, everyone know, knows that Hawaii is a beautiful group of Iceland and the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Thank you, Oscar. Everyone Thank you. knows that Hawaii is a beautiful group of islands. Let's remember, guys, for the word islands, no decimos la S. Solo decimos islands. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> islands, like this. Islands. Excellent. Uh, a beautiful group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Excellent. Can I please have uh, Brenda read until here? Hasta aquí. Uh, but did you know that Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the bill? Iceland in the state of the biggest island, island, let's remember, island, no digamos la S, island, thank you, now, let's see, now can I please have Alex read the rest of the paragraph, hasta aquí, okay, yes, it's confusing, so most people call the island of Hawaii the big island. Excellent, Alex. Thank you very much. Now, can I please have Stanley read next up, up until here? Hasta aquí. The weather on the big island is very interesting. It has 10 of the 50 kings of the of the climate in the world, including tropical, desert, mountain, uh, alpine. Thank you, Sally. Thank you very much. The weather on the big island is very interesting. It has 10 of the 15 kinds of climates in the world, including tropical, desert, mountain, and alpine. Very good. Now, can I please have Ricardo read the rest of the, of the paragraph until here? Sometime. Sometime. Sunday, even get up. Get, no, get now. I'm stopped off. It is too biggest volcano. Thank you, Ricardo. Sometimes it even gets snow on top, uh, on top of its two biggest volcanoes. Excellent. Now, can I please have Fabricio read until here? Hasta aquí. 
Okay, teacher. On the west side of the island, the weather is sunny. Kailo Kona is almost perfect. It gets it's get up to about uh, 18 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and the 187 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. Excellent, Fabricio. Thank you very much. On the west side of the island, the weather is kind of, the, the weather is sunny. Kailua Kona is almost perfect. It gets up to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and 87 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. And now can I please have Gloria read the rest of the paragraph. It only got down to uh, this for Fahrenheit in the winter and six a Fahrenheit in the summer. The koala are in the north is the drift as far of the island with only about the edge. of rain a year. Okay, thank you, Gloria. Remember guys, island, island. It only goes down to 60 degrees Fahrenheit in the wind, 64 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and 69 Fahrenheit in the summer. The koala area in the north is the driest part of the island with only about 10 inches of rain a year. Thank you. And can I please have Katia read this paragraph? Please. Okay. On the east side, we look at around 114 inches of rain per year. Is the weather city in the United States all that rain make for some amazing waterfall near Elo. Thank you very much, Katya. Okay, it is almost 10 guys. So we are just going to go ahead and finish the reading. So it says, water temperatures are coldest in February and warmest in September and October. There is good snorkeling, great scuba diving and wonderful fishing year round. That makes the big island popular with people from all over the world any time of the year. All right. So what is Hawaii, guys? Is it a city, a state, an island, or a state and an island? A state and an island. That's correct. It is both a state and an island. Es un estado de los Estados Unidos y también es una isla. Now. Uh, what climate is not found in Hawaii? ¿Qué clima no hay en Hawaii? Arctic? Arctic. 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 That's correct. Arctic. Now, how hot does it get in Kailua, Kona in the winter? Veámoslo. Hey, Ciro. Veámoslo. Kailua, Kona is almost perfect. It gets up to 80 Fahrenheit in the winter and 87 in the summer. 80 Fahrenheit in the winter. Eight. That's correct. And where does it rain the most? In the north, in the south, in the east, or the west? In the east. On the east. That's in the correct. East. In the east. Aquí nos dice, on the east side, Kilo gets around 180, 140 inches of rain per year. It's the wettest city of the United States. All right, guys. So this was the final exam. And tomorrow, guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to continue practicing some pronunciation skills, some reading skills, talking skills, 
and real life conversation. And in that way, de esa manera, vamos a finalizar this module, guys, and you'll be off, ready to go to intermediate, guys. So I congratulate you guys. You have successfully finished. Y recuerden, please, please, please work on the platform para que vayan super listos para su next module. All right. See you tomorrow, guys. Teacher. Yeah, tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Teacher, Thanks. a question. Yeah. Um, en, la, en los ejercicios E, no sé por qué me da, me da error. De, el, eh, oh, ok. Eran los que estábamos hablando, que hay que ponerlos de una manera en específico por la punctuation. Si gustan, los podemos seguir viendo en WhatsApp. ¿Les parece? Ok. Sí, sí, okay so, so, solo algo a lo que le quería decir. Uh -huh. este, los documentos se eh, los van a enviar, como yo le decía a usted, que se encarga de recursos humanos, pero lo van a enviar hasta el día viernes porque uh -huh. está incapacitado. Uh -huh. Ok, hay que informarle entonces, por favor, a el soporte para que ellos ya sepan. Please. Excelente. Gracias, teacher. Of course. Thank you. All right, guys. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.